It's funny when exploring abandoned places and you like want to get to the next pit, you have to sort of search around hey, look. for There's you know, an opening available here. access and you know, yeah, you have to boost each other up, lift each other up. It's pretty right. accurate, you Be know, careful in as there. far as this is concerned. What am I not? This should play a trick now, I forget. Well, you see anything? Riley? I'm pretty sure she plays a joke on us. <laughs> <laughs> you dick! That's two times today! <laughs> How the hell did we never find this place? Come on, I got the perfect mask for you. That mask is pretty scary. Riley, perfect! I guess in that climate they wouldn't have ever celebrated Halloween. Check it out. What is that, like a wolf man or something? Put it on. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, bad ass. Now for it. <sighs> roar. Ellie, really? Fucking roar. Oh god, we have to build it up. I mean, even this early on in the game, we can see that, like, Ellie's friend uh, meant a lot to her, and she was hurt that she left for so long. People bought this stuff? <laughs> I don't get it. They're even cooler. What? Looking for some Vampire. like horror Easter yeah. eggs, but there's nothing. <laughs> I am Count Dracula. What <laughs> actually, Countess? I am Countess. Dracula! Yeah! <laughs> Shadow is a, a really nice touch as well. Okay, whatever you're looking at. That's what's here. Oh, we don't. See those cars down there? Yeah. Red one's yours, I'll be blue. We throw bricks. Whoever breaks all the windows for their car, wins. Are you kidding me? I'm like the brick master. If masks right. on. <laughs> Loser has to what clothes answer are? a question. No sarcasm. <laughs> what is this, truth or truth? All right, fool, you're on. Was I red? So close. And that's oh, how you do it. How the damn brick alley. <laughs> yes. Am I supposed to lose? Fuck. Oh, oh, two. two down. <sighs> it's making me lose on purpose. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Is this some roof count? Go around there to get the last one. 
purpose too though. Keep forgetting that you have to like your, your torch would break. Uh -huh. You have to like tap your Boom. controller to uh, to get it to work again. Did I get them all or one more? Ah. Fuck. There's one more. It's a red one. Last one. Oh, oh the the train passenger side in this case. One to go. Yes. Brick fucking master. My car had tougher windows. Yeah, whatever, loser. All right, question time. I'm scared. Why did you leave? Why did you lash out? Did Molly mention my mom? Forget it. Why did you leave? Um. Okay. Why did you leave without telling me? I was in a weird space. Look, I didn't tell anyone. But I wasn't just anyone. Was I? No, it's just... You gotta see this thing, and we're almost there. Come on. You didn't answer my question. Nice horror movie poster. <laughs> okay. We hit. What are we doing here? This place is creeping me out. So, you know how we thought they only powered certain areas of the city? Yeah. Follow me. It's so interesting that even in times like this, people can still learn to have fun and enjoy themselves, even at the risk of uh, dying. <laughs> so, turns out, the whole city has power. <laughs> They just flip the circuit breakers. All you gotta do is flip it back. There's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm not so sure that's good. Wait, so the whole mall is lit up? Let's go find out. Don't run off ahead. You ready to see this? Wait, I... I know what you're trying to do. And... I'm really glad that you're not dead. I mean... I'm glad that we're back together and... I didn't mean it. All that stuff I said before I left. I didn't mean any of it. Riley, you're such a sap. <laughs> Bet you started it. <laughs> oh, man. Are you ready? Totally. <laughs> Are you kidding? OK, and then we're back to uh, the medical helicopter. I mean, that's such a, an interesting, like, uh, non-linear story device, uh, and an in, such an interesting way of telling the, the story. Obviously, we're in the, uh, the present, and we're living through this problem we've got here, having to find medicine for Joel, but then we're also living back in the past, before this whole thing started, and are two like different sets of emotions but also quite similar at the same time. Okay, we have another note. With supplies running low, Private Eugene Ellis and I entered the loading dock in hopes of procuring additional rations. We were caught off guard when a group of roughly half a dozen stage twos attacked us. We neutralized the threat, but not before Ellis was bitten. After a heated debate, Private Ellis tried taking his own life. I incapacitated him. Then I took it upon myself to break protocol. 
I isolated the infection with a tourniquet. I gathered and cleaned surgical sore from the abandoned triage. I injected Private Ellis with morphine before amputating his arm several inches above the bite. I'm confident that once Private regains consciousness, he'll be clear of the cordyceps infection. Captain Regan Francis. Ouch. So the other two, one was bitten and the other one cut his arm off basically. And I'm sure, oh that's a nice bird. Nice touch. So I'm sure we're going to find one if not both of them. <laughs> So we've got some more bits. Uh, is that where we just came out? Oh no, on the bottle. We can make stuff with that. More bullets. That's never good. <laughs> so the uh, okay, so here's the power. Not gonna be open. Thank you, Terry. Any way to get this on? Let's follow the cable. Follow the cables. Rachel? Okay, and with it being military, it's all barbed wired up, which means there's no way we could possibly climb over that, which is nice attention to detail, because usually there would just be something in the way like this that you could not even get over. <laughs> okay, so there's some of the cables. I'm guessing this is the generator and then we have to go see where it powers up. Hint. Restore power to the camp, obviously, right? Shit, oh, no. God. <sighs> Fucking cat. Yeah, that's a nice red herring. The next one will be a zombie. Okay. We can go in there, or... Down here. I'm guessing we have to go in here. But it's locked. Alright. So we have to go down here. Oh my god, it's freezing. Again, it's like on some games a character would just walk into the water and it not even be phased, but you know. Jesus! You're trying to kill me? In reality, this would be like so cold and stagnant oh, and shit. dirty. as well. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get uh, attacked in a minute. Yeah, when we turn the generator on. End of the line. When we turn the generator on, I think it attracts something and that needs the power. Needs power. I'm pretty sure it needs petrol as well. Okay. Nothing? Out of juice. Damn it. See, these are the kind of important life skills people should be learning instead of the crap they teach in school nowadays. Private Ellis has taken a turn for the worse. He's burning up and couldn't keep any of his food down. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe the amputation was too late. Maybe when I'm not watching him, he'll turn. And the infection protocol, we did what we had to do to Officer Caulfield. We... Who the hell am I kidding? We murdered Larry. Ellis held him down while I shot him like a dog. I can't get screams out of my head. 
Reagan, please, I still have time. Don't do this. Ellis, what have we done? What if I just leave? What if I just make a run for it? I'm sorry, Ellis. Reagan. So that was interesting. That completely contradicts that last note. Because in the other note he said he accepted his fate and the fatal wound was delivered. But in this one, it says that he said he didn't want to. And the other guy held him down while he shot him. And then is literally leaving the other guy for dead after he cut his friggin' arm off. We're looking for like a jerry can or something, I think. Oh, here we go. Fucking jerry can. I saw it on the way in. Empty. Empty, so... Maybe I can find some. Yeah. So we can go drain it off one of those cars. Or the truck. It's a generator, I'm guessing it would take petrol, and these trucks would most definitely oh, fuck. take diesel. Shit. Let's get somewhere safe. That would be the... Where you are. Oh shit. Watch out. I can't believe how bad that was, like... Also dry. So in the main game you can sort of avoid a lot of um, interactions and killing and other stuff, but that, that sometimes it forces you into it and in such a small space such as this. Maybe the truck. Here we go. Ah, jackpot. Alright, how do you do this? Take the hose and siphon it out, right? Mm. I've been fortunate enough never to have to do that, but I should do it. I was um, I was with my dad one time when he did it, <laughs> not stealing or anything. My car had broken down, and uh, my dad was trying to. My, my dad was convinced I'd put diesel in a petrol car, and was uh, trying to siphon out fuel, and uh, <laughs> got a bunch of petrol in his mouth. I hadn't put diesel in a petrol car, by the way. My uh, CPU is done. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure the second we start that off, more uh, runners come, so you've got to be quick and efficient. <laughs> Don't touch electric water. Yeah. Got it. So then we have to go across the top. 
to uh, not die. There's something down to do. Uh, there we go, some gunpowder. I would call it. Okay, so uh, easy, easy. And it's so weird that um, everything's gonna be fine. Not gonna fall into that water and fry to a crisp. In these uh, kind of situations where you have to do something not too hard, like walk on these beams, it's like at height, it's, it's like a lot scarier than it, it would have been. Oh, that's right, now we go the other way. I can't get back up here, so I don't want to jump down just yet. Maybe we have to. This was here. Shit. The controls are a little out of whack from what I, I'm used to. Podcast quick name. Smoke bomb. Yeah, uh, let's not use that. <laughs> okay, so. I'm assuming we can't go in any of the water. We need to get across to that. Can we push the... Oh. Oh, here we go. Please don't give me... Okay, we're okay. <laughs> Some more stuff to craft. Some big TVs or... Just the boxes. Okay, so now we can walk across the garage door. I think it... Falls. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, we have to force something under it to stop it falling. I'm making up a lot of noise. Okay. Is it one of these big boxes or I remember we have to push something. Oh. No, it'll be in here. <laughs> here we go. This might work. So we pull this out of here. And this would be really damn heavy though, so is that underneath? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. So now shouldn't fall down. There we go. Forgot all about that. <laughs> okay. Finally. You'd be worried about these collapsing and you falling to your death. <laughs> Here we go. Nearly there. I mean, this is a super high drop as well. It's like eight feet, maybe? That hurt. <laughs> again. Okay, so we got a no flashlights. They can see. They work on visuals and noise. Take them down in one go. Watch out for the clickers. It's like although Ellie is immune, she can still be killed. We might have to use. We've got a bottle, so we can always throw that to. Uh, 
people to watch the glass. That's how they'll hear me. There's another one of those. Just watch, there's no glass on the floor. Next little doggo there. That clicking sound is horrible. It's like the one that... the noise is like one of the worst sounds I have ever heard in my entire life is noise off the grudge and there's that exit that reminds me of the clickers okay we can probably uh, avoid the clickers but the runners we will have to dispose of because they can see and here we might have to actually we might have to dispose of them all because um, we might have to turn a generator on or something so okay I'll do the runners first though because they can see I'm here careful with sneaking up on this one because we're in like light. We can craft something and that kit. Might use some of these uh, molotovs. On one of the clickers, maybe. Um, there's two left, so. Oh, God. Literally the worst. They start moving like the, the nurses on Silent Hill. It's just that horrible sort of jittery motion. I'll try to get away with not using explosives or anything. Where is he? Around there? Oh, he's in there again. I'll wait for him out here. Or can I? Can I not? Gotta be slow. I think that hell out of here. Yeah. Okay. So we have to get out of here, and this would have made a lot of noise, but probably needs power as well. Here we are again. God damn it! Where the hell are they coming from? Okay. Oh, okay, so we're a little closer now because the power is on to the gates that we need to get up to the helicopter, but there are now clickers around, so uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that without making no noise. So we'll see if we can take these down quietly and efficiently. Oh god, he's coming right around. Well, they hear me in the snow. Oh, they move so cool. Fast, they move. They're covered in snow and everything. Shit. Shit, you know. What we got? What we got? One. Go. We got more. Oh no 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 no! Not a dead end. 
These people? Oh. Shit, I'm forgetting all the controls. I'm trying to reload. Let's go. Were they people? Hard to tell. Man. We need to heal again now as well. See, that's where you can't just go up to the door and flip the switch and run in because it doesn't work. We've got to go back, I think. I'll try it again now we're safe. Yeah, there we go. We just right, helicopter. Us, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so a little makeshift camp here with a note in. Was it a note? No, nope. just some medical supplies. Oh no, it was a recorder. Play. As if it's got any battery left. Okay, uh, I don't know about you, but I did not hear a damn thing from that. wasn't loud enough at all, I didn't hear any of that. So onto the helicopter, now this is very precariously balanced, so how uh, we need to go to the floor above I think, I don't know. Climb up to the helicopter, oh I think we have to like get on here. Oh man. Oh, These are glass as well. Okay, be cool. Just be cool. Here we go. Jesus, man. Just a little hop. Under there. 